this is such a nice combination hey there welcome to another episode of cooking with me in the kitchen space in today's recipe let's make some sauce that we are going to dip our fish in and i'm not really excited about this episode and i'll tell you why in a few so these are the list of ingredients that we have for today's recipe and from this corner i have some onions some garlic ginger some tomatoes capsicum and coriander some soy sauce because what is white meat without soy sauce i have some salt some cooking oil this is some tomato paste for my list of spices i have some black pepper turmeric for the color i have some curry powder because what is also a curry without some curry powder paprika and some rico and here i have my fried fish so uh the reason as to why i'm not really excited about this recipe is because i do not like fish with bones i love fish fillet and any other type of fish without the bones for this particular one with the bones i'm not really a fan because it really needs a lot of attention and care and that's not a struggle that i'm normally up to so for my ingredients i've decided to finally chop them uh instead of blending them but you can also blend them but if i told you do not have a blender this is the way to go for my tomatoes i've already peeled them and so without further ado let's get started <music> So, as usual, once my pan is hot, I'll go in with about a tablespoon of cooking oil. Once that is hot, I'll go in with my onions. Then, I'm also going to go in with my ginger and garlic. in my tomatoes but this is once my garlic has become fragrant I'll add just a little bit of salt so that my tomatoes can break down a little bit faster then I'll cover it and cook it for about a minute I'll also add my tomato paste so that it can have time to also cool. And I'm also going to add a little bit of water. And this is going to help my tomato paste become in so that it can have an easy time while cooking. So at this point I can see that my tomatoes are almost well broken down so I'll go in with my spices and one spice that I forgot to mention uh, that really goes well with fish is some um, dried oregano so I've also added the dried oregano and I'm going to mix this and then I'll also add a little bit of water and this will help my spices to cook I'm also going to add my coriander stems and my capsicum Then I'm going to cover this so that everything can cook down and blend in together. So this has been cooking for about 4 to 5 minutes and I'm going to go in with my soy sauce. And because I've added uh, slightly more than what I would have added for the soy sauce, I'm not going to go in with some salt. I'm going to add some hot water. And then I'm going to let this simmer gently.
So I'm going to cook this for about five to seven minutes till the sauce starts thickening up. Then I'll be back to add in my fish. So you can see that this has thickened up. So I'll go in with my fish. Then I'm going to spread the sauce to the top. I'm going to cover this and let it simmer for about two minutes so that the fish can warm in the inside on very low heat. So our fish is done and I'm going to sprinkle more coriander leaves. So it was that easy preparing this fish in some sauce and I've served mine with some greens which are terere and I also have some ugali. So let's dig in. Mm. Mm. The sauce is amazing. So today I have to be extra careful not to chew into the bones. Mm. Wow. This is such a nice combination. Mm. Wow. Mm. So that's it for today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll definitely see you in the next one. Bye.